Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Kent, the president of First Phosphate, a trailblazer in the Canadian battery metals world, dedicated to producing purified phosphoric acid in Canada. With two properties situated in Quebec, First Phosphate has recently gone public with a great deal of tangible news flow since they started trading in late February. In this interview, we'll discuss the recently announced proposed $3.5 billion battery facility with Ford and Cattle. We'll discuss First Phosphate's MOU with the leading purified phosphoric acid producer, and we're going to get into a recent licensing agreement that First Phosphate has signed with Integrals Power Limited. And for those of you interested in the mining aspects of the company, we will get into the metallurgical test work results from the Lac de property and the latest drill results from the Bay and La Marche property. Finally, we'll explore the reasons behind igneous being considered superior to sedimentary for purified phosphoric acid production. All right, everybody, enjoy the interview. Peter, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Steve. Always, uh, always great to chat. Uh, okay, so since the last time we spoke, Ford announced a three and a half billion dollar LFP battery facility partnership with CATL. Do you think that this is about to become a big trend for the auto industry? Well, time will tell. We also saw that uh, uh, that was their second uh, offering to a to a state to base that plant. Uh, uh, another uh, state refused the offer on the basis that they did not want the China, the connection to the Chinese government. Uh, and while Ford has said they will simply be using cattle uh, Chinese technology in the battery plant in Michigan, uh, there are questions and there is significant opposition in Congress to any deal which engages um, with the Chinese communist government. And cattle, after all, is a uh, more or less a a, a state owned state controlled enterprise, although it is nominally a, a private Chinese company. So time will time will time will tell whether that Ford plant uh, receives benefit from the Inflation Reduction Act. So just for our audience that sort of they don't really understand the significance of the LFP battery. Um, maybe we could just sort of quickly ask why, why do you think LFP batteries are going to become attractive or, or, or what do you think their future place is in the North American market? Well, Forbes and, and fortune and, uh, and other, um, economic forecasters, uh, tell us that, um, that the LFP battery sector of the battery market is going to grow from about $10 billion now to close to $50 billion by 2028. And that's because LFP battery chemistry is uh, cheaper, safer, more durable, uh, more appropriate, although not as strong a, a, a battery, not as strong a battery as the, uh, uh, as the nickel Battery, yeah, yeah. yeah. But for uh, urban vehicles uh, with fairly short uh, range, you know, three hundred kilometer uh, necessary range, the LFP battery is going to be more economical. Again, it will be safer. They don't have the uh, heat management or or uh, fire or explosion issues that we've seen with with some of the other batteries. Um, and they take more charges and, uh, and uh, they have a durability in both hot and cold extremes that, uh, that will work again in urban centers. Uh, some of the other batteries, the more expensive batteries, the nickel cadmium batteries uh, uh, may be more appropriate in remote areas, uh, but the LFP battery is uh, by, by pretty well all forecast going to dominate um, the battery sector or be at least 50% of the battery sector by the, by the end of the decade. What can you tell me about the purified phosphoric acid market? How does it trade? Who are the users? Purified phosphoric acid has food applications. It has uh, cosmetic applications. It has a variety of industrial uh, applications, but it is an essential uh, in the forecast rapidly expanding uh, LFP 
battery sector. You know, when, when North Americans, whether they're journalists or policymakers uh, or manufacturers or investors and, and certainly governments, when all of these people, when, when we in North America think about uh, the LFP supply chain, uh, folks very often assume that because iron and phosphate are common chemicals uh, around the world, there'll be no problems meeting forecast soaring demand when the big new battery plants are ready to go in four or five years. But it, it's a flawed assumption and it doesn't recognize two really important realities. And this is something I spend my days trying to message uh, to everyone I talk to. And the first is that sedimentary phosphate, which is the source of merchant grade phosphoric acid for fertilizer is very different from igneous phosphate rock for highly purified phosphoric acid, which is needed for lithium iron phosphate batteries. 95% of the world's um, estimated phosphate reserves are sedimentary, most of it in the Middle East, some in North America, but those North American mines are, are in decline now. They will run out um, in the decades ahead. Um, and sedimentary phosphate, as in Bone Valley, for example, in Florida, produces heavy metal radioactive waste that goes into slag heaps or tailings ponds, really toxic tailing ponds. Um, and in some parts of the world, the manufacturers just pump it into the ocean. Only 5% of the world's phosphate rock is igneous, hard rock. And only 1% is in igneous anorthosite rock, which we have in our holdings in Quebec. Um, the only other major holdings uh, that have been found are in the Kola Peninsula uh, up at the top of, of, of Russia. Uh, but that supply, which has gone primarily in the past to uh, the European Union, has been significantly reduced, not entirely cut off because there are ways to smuggle it around because of it's been cut off because of the uh, sanctions resulting from uh, the Russian invasion and war on 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 Ukraine. So uh, the the EU recognizes the importance of phosphate today and tomorrow and for decades to come. Uh, because they've listed phosphate as a critical mineral. The, the province of Ontario has listed it as a critical mineral. Uh, uh, we believe that uh, Quebec is about to list it as a critical mineral, as Canada should, and as the United States uh, should, um, simply because igneous phosphate uh, is pure, it's clean, it's uh, from our connect uh, Quebec source, it's, it's a secure, sustainable source. Uh, and we are going to need incredibly large volumes of purified phosphoric acid to meet the demand of the LFP battery industry. Can you make uh, purified phosphoric acid out of sedimentary rock, or is it just incredibly expensive to do so? It, it, you can, but it's uh, highly inefficient and it's very expensive, and it's, and it's an imperfect process because uh, sedimentary phosphate, again, with all of these... Um, uh, deleterious uh, other metals uh, and minerals uh, is not as pure and cannot be cannot be in as high a volume purified as as um, igneous phosphate rock can so uh, uh, and and we at first phosphate uh, intend to prove that uh, as the uh, and we say this probably more often than people like to hear but as the only listed um, uh, phosphate miner in the world uh, focused entirely on supplying the LFP battery industry, not the fertilizer industry. Now, igneous phosphate can also be used for fertilizer as well, um, but, uh, but we're the only company that's focusing on LFP. Let's talk about First Phosphate. Shortly after going public, First Phosphate announced an MOU with one of the world's largest producers of purified phosphoric acid. What can you tell us? And why does it make sense for a company of this size to get involved with First Phosphate at such an early stage? Well, uh, Preon SA of, of Belgium, um, which is owned by, um, by the Belgian government, by the Walloon government, uh, and by uh, the Moroccan government, which is a producer of 
sedimentary phosphate uh, have been in business for years, uh, for decades, and they Prayon is the is the uh, largest producer of purified phosphoric acid uh, in Europe. They have experience, they have um, uh, technology, uh, and our MOU provides for uh, first phosphate to provide uh, some of our offtake of uh, phosphate concentrate from the mine or mines uh, to Prayon for their processing. Uh, and at the same time, Prayon uh, has agreed to make their uh, purifying technology uh, to license it to, to first phosphate. And our plan, as you know, is to, in uh, the Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean region, at the port of Saguenay, uh, just south of, uh, of our 1,500 square kilometers of holdings, uh, is to put in uh, initially a pilot plant to, to prove the purification uh, process, uh, eventually followed with a, uh, with a full-scale plant at the port of Saguenay, where we have, again, an MOU for, for space on the very large uh, available um, manufacturing area, which the Quebec government uh, put more than $100 million into just recently, uh, because the uh, industrial space uh, at Quebec ports now, at southern ports, uh, in Montreal, Quebec City, uh, is pretty much uh, chock-a-block full. So the, um, the plan is to turn the port of Saguenay, a deep water port, uh, uh, into, a, into a, um, an industrial community of which First Phosphate plans to be a, a significant player. You also announced an agreement with Integrals Power Limited. What can you tell us? Yeah, and and that's a, that's a, an equally important agreement because we will use uh, uh, Integrals Power Limited to verify the the purity of the um, uh, purified phosphoric acid um, uh, from uh, our deposits from our concentrate, but at the same time. Uh, to, uh, again, work with integrals uh, with, their licensed, um, with their licensed technology to integrate uh, uh, purified phosphoric acid with iron sulfate and lithium for cathode active material for the LFP battery. Uh, they've been working on a on a technology, and they're you know the the race is on uh, among any number of com companies around the world to come up with the processes that will be cleanest, safest, most profitable for the LFP battery. Uh, but um, but Integrals Power uh, is one of the leaders in that area, and and we're proud we're 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 proud and happy to be uh, to be teamed with them. You guys also announced metallurgical test work results from the Lac and Lorignel property in Quebec. What did the results tell us? Uh, and it's our it's our flagship property, uh, uh, 125 kilometers north of um, of the port of Saguenay, uh, the city of Saguenay, Chicoutimi, Saguenay. Um, uh, but our other our other property where we've been doing winter drilling. Um, uh, is in Bejan La Marche, 75 kilometers uh, to closer to uh, to uh, to Saguenay to the port, uh, and where the early um, assay of the drill corings a month ago uh, have uh, have um, been very encouraging, and uh, and we're in it. We're in a two million dollar raise at the moment to continue drilling both in uh, Bejan La Marche as well as La Calorignal. Um, and of course, at the same time, we've we've launched our uh, our preliminary economic uh, assessment for uh, Lac to uh, to go through the uh, environmental uh, uh, process this year. So we'll be we want to get into the field with a uh, with a company to to begin that PEA process in the spring.
It's interesting, isn't it? Because like we think about there's so much interest in lithium right now and lithium is yep. one of the most abundant resources in the world. <laughs> That's right. Although, I, although the purification of lithium is still, you yep. know, lithium chemistry is still very challenging in a lot of ways, uh, as are in Canada, the location of some of those properties in terms of, uh, not uh, not as easily accessible as, as as would be ideal but yeah no generally uh, i begin every conversation with folks that want to know about first phosphate uh, with a line that basically says energy storage whether it's for electric vehicles or for the wide range of other applications industrial applications residential applications small device applications but energy storage is about much more than lithium. Lithium is important, uh, but in an LFP battery, for example, lithium is the smallest amount by volume compared to the phos purified phosphoric acid and iron sulfate. Well, Peter, uh, this uh, was great. You hopping on here and answering some questions. Uh, I uh, congratulate you guys on all your early success, but it's, I know it's way too early for congratulations because from, from what I can tell, you guys are just getting, getting started here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Peter. Yeah, go, re returning briefly to my days in, in radio and TV, I, I just advise, please stay tuned. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you could do me a big favor, please hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, and let us know what you think in the comment section. All right, thank you, everybody.